Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Hydraneer. Uh, yeah, as you can tell, it's been quite a bit of a, quite a mess here. Uh, this is the problem right here, the dirt. Uh, well, actually, that's half the problem. The other half of the problem just happens to be these conveyors, uh, the, the vertical conveyors in particular. Uh, so I have been thinking about my design here, and uh, I do want to go this scale, and I'm going to be honest with you, I'm actually going to step it up. Uh, I do want to attempt to make a ring with one ingot worth over a million dollars, or hydro coins. Uh, it can be done, I want to do it, and I want to have it lag-free and clog-free. Uh, I've been watching Trey try to do his thing, he's got this uh, little grinding tower there, and Good idea, but uh, I kind of saw that coming when uh, it happened. Uh, needless to say, the shutters haven't been helping much because when you get the big chunk up there, it goes, but it still gets stuck here, then it builds up, and then it gets clogged. And So, you know, like I've tried going sideways with them. I've tried using the shredders, and uh, nothing's working, but I've decided to change it up a little bit. Instead of having the dirt actually go on conveyors, it's come right out of the, the drill straight into a hopper into the harvester so it doesn't have a chance to actually get clogged now i have been testing with it testing this and it does seem to work uh i'm using the same sort of technique i was doing where i've got the, the called a backboard there where the dirt bounces off and then lands on the conveyor in this case it has no chance of actually sticking to that lip so it's going to hit the window it's actually going to hit the bottom one not the top one and it's going to go right into the harvester and then it's going to drop down to a conveyor uh, I do know that I can place it up higher on a dirt clump like this. I've tried that. It doesn't work. That was my first thing. It's like, okay, I'm going to put the harvester, the dram drills up top and just cover, put dirt on the bottom. That didn't work. So I'm just going to do it this way. I'm going to put them on the ground and dig a trench. Now, what I'm going to do is, uh, well, yeah, anyways, they're gonna, I'm just going to come down and go down to the conveyor. I can actually give a quick test run here. Everything else is still running. Yeah, it's a bit of a mess right now. But it does work when the filter doesn't break. And I don't have any tools. Of course not. It's almost like it was waiting for waiting for me to actually start recording to do that. Okay. And I have run it, and it seems to work pretty good. Flawlessly every time. I'm gonna land on the conveyor, and then I'm gonna have. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have 16 rows, or two rows of 16. So 16 ram drills, 16 harvesters right next to each other. Uh, two conveyor lines separated by a wall, going to up, going to the end where there is gonna be a couple of vertical conveyors just to get the small stuff up into the crucibles, and then we're gonna just continually melt stuff as we mine it, and hopefully this should work pretty good. This is actually missing a shard, so that should be running a lot faster, but it does work. So that's my idea. And realistically, there should be no no blockage, as long as the game's not dealing with the dirt, and it's only dealing with the nuggets, and be less light. Anyway, uh, I gotta go do some shopping, and some digging, and I'll bring you back. Also, there's a thing about the coins, too. Uh, I was trying to stack my coins, but for some reason they weren't stacking, I found out. Uh, apparently can't stack coins more than 100,000, so if I got 3, 18, I can't add it to that pile there. It won't actually join. But apparently if I throw both stacks into the well, get boots, and then sell the boots at the same time, I can get full stacks. Anyway, uh, we have money to spend, so I'm going to leave that one here, and then leave this one over here, because I'm going to have to buy windows and all that stuff, and load up the truck and all that stuff. So, I'll be back. Okay, I am back. I'm just unlocking everything because uh, for this build, I will be cannibalizing this system because not that I can't afford it, I just don't have to be dragging everything over here again. Uh, needless to say, everything is unlocked. I have picked up uh, eight more hoppers, eight more harvesters, eight more ram drills. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start lining them up. I'm going to place the first one. Uh, originally, I was going to do four rows of eight, but I think we can get away with 16 or two rows of 16 because I'm not placing them uh, I'm not going to space one block one apart like I was going to now I do know that there's some areas where it's not going to sit so I just want to make sure I'm going to be able to get my distance here and I will good and I'll just have to be careful of that hole right there that I dug uh, that was me looking for gems and we'll start here so that's going to be the first one 
Yeah, that's the ram drill. And then the harvester is going to go down below it. Down two blocks. So I got to actually dig down before the next one goes in. I'm not going to place it here because the dirt may not go in. I want to use the funnel to make sure it actually hits those blades. So, like so. So let me get all the, the drills in place and I'll bring you back. Okay, so here's what I got. I got 16 ram drills on either side. Uh, yeah. <laughs> could be more it, uh, it could be more i've seen what this game is capable of and i think i'm asking too much we'll find out anyway uh so what i need to do as you saw with this one here i actually have to dig down uh, i also got to make sure that i don't dig directly below the harvester so i'm just gonna drop that there for now because i also have to make sure i can get it piped in there and that's gonna be the tricky thing the only thing is the harvester's got to go down too so I actually gotta go down a little bit more. Take this. And maybe I'll find one of the harvesters I've lost already. Or one of the many things I've lost down there. And like that. So that's what's gonna be. And there's gonna be a funnel on top. The only thing I need to do is I gotta make sure that I can get the pipe in there. Uh, so originally I was gonna have them spaced one apart, but if I do that, then I'll have to switch between a T and a straight, T and a straight, and of course I'm gonna lose a lot more pressure going down the line. Uh, there will be a pressure chamber right at the beginning of both lines, just so make sure that you get full, full pressure, same with the conveyor. Uh, but yeah, but then that was, that was gonna be an issue because I'm not gonna, I don't wanna dig underneath here if I don't have to, because I wanna make sure these are obviously touching the dirt. So because you can actually place blocks inside dirt if you go close enough uh, if I place the T's and just have make sure that they're fa faced the right way and then I should be able to place them in a line and get to the end and then from there I can dig out whatever I gotta do anyways I got myself a trench to dig I will be back look what I found the Grand Canyon I'm kidding I dig moats in my spare time it's a hobby Anyway, uh, this is what I've done. I've actually gone a little bit underneath the harvesters, just get the pipes in a little bit better. I forgot I had to dig down a little bit more for the conveyors. These little floating clumps here. Uh, there's one right there. Uh, this is uh, a theory. I probably should do this, but I'm not worried about it. But my theory is, whenever you're dealing with voxel generation like this, and you're doing excavation like this, whenever you get those floating clumps, they usually end up being the highest yield. Don't ask me why. It just happens to be. Maybe it's because the the the, engine, the game doesn't want to destroy the the ore that's actually in the material, so it leaves the ore in the only material that's left. So you usually end up getting higher yield. Anyway, so what I need to do now is I need to get pipes. Now I have got all the T's unlocked. I just have the matter of taking them out of the system. I picked up another twenty of them, but I'm sure I have enough. I'm gonna need a lot of them to be honest. And then all I gotta do is just rotate it like that and that's why I dug underneath there and that's also why I dug underneath there you can't see because I'm not wearing the actual helmet probably should get that but whatever I can see what I'm doing but you get the idea so I'm gonna put the T's in and then after that I'll put the harvesters in place uh, so and then from there the conveyors are gonna be down here I'm gonna put blocks underneath them blocks in the middle of the two conveyor lines with another block wall on top, windows, yada yada yada. But let me get th th these pipes in and the harvesters and I shall return. Okay, I am done all well, this part anyways. Uh, so there's the harvesters, we got the ram drills in, everything is locked into place. Uh, before I start getting the, the hoppers and the, the windows in, I'm gonna start getting the conveyors in. So I've already unlocked half the system. I told you we were gonna scrap this thing down to nothing uh so this is gonna be a little bit of build up here because i want to make sure that i don't get anything stuck in little spots like like that so i'm gonna start with uh start with the blocks blocks underneath the harvesters just to make sure that nothing gets stuck underneath uh don't want to lose that precious gold right okay and then uh there's gonna be okay, uh, which way does this have to be Alright, All right, so conveyor's going to go in that way, so one conveyor there, I'm just going to do the, the first row to show you what I'm going to do, and I'm going to do the rest off camera because it's going to be a lot of back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, you get the idea. Anyway, uh, so there's going to be another one there, and then I'll also be able to find any spots of dirt that I missed that I'll have to replace. 
Okay, and then we're gonna have a another conveyor there. And uh, let me bring up the day. Gee, when I built this, I should, guess I should have thought about which way the sun was going up so we could see a little bit better. But anyways, uh, so this is basically what I do. It's about the best we're going to see until it's done. But anyways, you get the harvester there, blocks underneath each harvester with a conveyor on either side going that direction. And then a wall just to catch everything. To, uh, we'll call it a backboard just to make sure everything lands on the conveyor. Now, hopefully, because I have this block here, it sticks a little bit higher than the conveyor, so... In theory, nothing should actually roll off. Everything should stay on the conveyor or at least get stuck on the edge. And then I can just walk across the top here. That's what this is going to serve another purpose. There's that little piece of dirt I was trying to find. But anyways, when I'm up here, I'll be able to actually access uh, both the ram drill and the harvester with repair kits. So that should be good. At least I think so. Let's, let's test this out quickly. See where these windows go. Let's uh, get a hopper in. Uh, tell you how I wish this character could run or move just a little bit faster or have an inventory for that matter but hey it's okay so we're gonna put one there and you gotta remember to grab the frame not the actual pane and like that so now if I'm on top here I don't think I can I wonder if I can actually repair through the glass Let's find out. If not, then I just go up one more level. Do I have a repair kit somewhere? Somewhere close by and easily accessible? That's the question. Of course not. Alright, I think I got some up here. No, I don't. Where are they? Oh, God. Where did I... Oh, they're all up the front. Ha ha ha. Yeah, that filter's gone again. Too many holes. Really should pave the area. Well, halfway there. Or at least that was. Now where did I... Ah. I know where I put them. Over here. I'm going to have to go around this place with a magnet one of these days and just clean everything up. But I, wanna, I just want to see if I can actually... Well, I don't even know if I'd be able to tell if it actually works or not because I think I can actually repair the glass, can I not? Yeah, I can. So I don't know if that'll actually work or not. So we might have to go one more block. I don't know. Or at least this way, I'll just leave it like this. I can run down here, fix any harvesters that I need. And if I need to do the ram drills, I can always go out here. But they'll work anyways. Either way, uh, I'm going to finish this up. Get everything hammered in place. And I'll bring you back for the next step. Okay, so th that is th that done. Everything is locked into place, like always. And I try to even out this slope a little bit more we're gonna have to go up with a couple of conveyors uh probably gonna end up going three i don't know i don't want to go up too high with these things but anyway so now for the next part uh next is gonna be the hoppers in the windows like i've got here and or the funnels in the windows and i'm gonna do that and then uh lock that in place and then i'll bring you back when we're ready to finish up Okay, and with the magic of it, editing, I am done. Uh, I got everything locked in place. I just went ahead and just finished it up. I got the plumbing all installed. Conveyors are all set up. Sorting system is all ready to go. I've got everything locked in place. I put a nice little trimmer on the, the unloading pad here just to add a little bit of accent to the foundation and to fill a couple of holes I made. But we don't need to talk about that. But anyways, I have tools. I have everything ready to go. Pressure should be good. Uh, I've got the three pressure chambers starting at uh, 25 after the, the inlet pipe, so I should have full pressure in the system. Uh, so those three come down here, bring it up to here, and right about here it's still uh, still about 20 blocks. So by the time it gets to this one and that one down there and this one, it's still getting full pressure right to the end. Uh, the sorting system is on this line here. I, haven't put a pressure uh, pressure shard in there yet because I want to see what the output on the conveyor is but other than that I think we are ready to go I'm just grabbing a couple of wrenches put them in key locations and we should be good to go now I have got it set up to uh, take out the gems and I'm gonna let the dirt come out the side if there is any but I highly doubt it because every dirt all the dirt that comes out should just go straight into the harvester Alright, so I'll grab a 
two more bags. We'll bring them over to the, the filters here. Also, uh, while I was digging around, I found another seed. This one's different though. It's red. And that one's green. And I found them on two different claims. So I have an idea about that one too. But uh, we'll have to figure that one out later. We got a few more claims to buy to get that one all sorted out. But uh, we are just about done. Okay. All I have to do for me to do is turn on all the, the harvesters. And that's actually why I have this. So I'm going to do like that and that. I have discovered you can fall down through the, the funnels. Uh, for some reason, the character is actually small enough to fit through there. Uh, doesn't matter because I've got the uh, harvesters down there, so it's not like I can go very far. So that is one side, and this is something I'll have to do every time I load the game up. I don't want to actually uh, yeah, get the system running. So we are almost done. 13, 12, 11, 10... Nine. Now, is this going to crash the game? Is this going to break the game? Is it going to run fine? Is it going to all lag even worse than it before? Uh, I don't know about the lagging part, but the rest of it, I'm not holding my breath on it. It almost looks like they're connected by pipe. See? You can fall right in there. Anyway, and there we go. Okay, we are pressured. We are ready to go. And put the main valve over here. And, of course, I'm using broken filters. There we go. And broken harvesters too. Oh my god, it's loud. I apologize. Uh, the sound seems to be cumulative. That's not one that's supposed to be or not. I do not. Okay, you are not getting any pressure at all. Okay, fine. That's why I left that there just in case. I have something turned off, do I? I think I do. I think I turned one of those conveyors off. Uh, it's my habit. Is I'm so used to trying to pick things up by clicking on it. So it's going to be one of these that are turned off. And I'm going to assume it's going to be uh, this one, which is on the other side. Of course it is. Alright, let's see if I can do this. Hang on. Okay, I just had one of those moments. The reason why it's not working... I have it on the harvesters and I have the harvesters turned off. Oh my god, that's loud. Very loud. Alright, so that means that... Okay, these conveyors will work. The other ones won't. But, that is fine. So, oh wow. Working. You can all end up in the right spot though, that's the question. See, this is why I didn't want to put the, put the shard in there. Because if I put the shard in there, they get too much pressure. But this is perfect. This is actually perfect. Sweet. Alright, I got some repairing to do. So I'm going to let this go for about an hour or so and see what we have. Well, I have to say, this is working really good. Just a golden river. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to let this go for a while. Uh, speaking of which, I picked up the gems on uh, the other system there after that 140-something thousand bar. And the lag on that gem bucket was amazing. Anyway, see you in a bit. Too much gold. Oh my god. Too much gold. Too much gold. Oh my god. I've been going for about half an hour here, and uh, needless to say... Be going an absolute mess over there. Give it a second. Give it a second. Alright. There we go. That's better. Uh, yeah, things are going good. It was going. I haven't had any problems with this thing except for the obscene amount of lag from all the gold that actually missed the pot. I've been going for about half an hour now. It's just unbelievable how much gold there was. Like, I. I I gotta get up here and have a look at what's still in the belt. Like, there's just so much. It's like coming up in handfuls. Like, look at this. So, what I think I'm gonna do, I don't wanna end it here. Wow. I'm gonna try to clean up what I can that's on the floor. 
and then maybe I'll start it up a little bit more and see if I can squeeze a little bit more out of this because I'd like to get a full hour if I can. So anyways, let me find my magnet on a stick and I will be back. There is nothing wrong with the video. The lag is real. Uh, surprisingly, this is 45 minutes and it's still going. Uh, I'm going to let this go a little bit longer. Uh, I know the biggest problem is I have a lot of gold over there that needs to be cleaned up. So I'll be doing that after this episode. Anyway, I'm going to keep going until the filters die and we'll check so see what we got. Okay, I'm done cleaning out. Uh, I gave it a few more minutes and I just had to stop. I was down to just under two frames a second. Uh, I wanted to show you what is really causing the lag, and I know this is it. Like, I've got all this stuff everywhere. i got floating things everywhere. Uh, I've been finding them in the conveyors. Now, I don't know if it's been mentioned to, to Max about this. I might bring it up to the Discord, but uh, yeah, they've been dropping through the conveyors, and that's been a bit of an issue, especially the, the verticals. Uh, I don't know if it's something he's going to be working on in the next update or not, but uh, yeah, that's my lag issue right there. So i got to clean this up, up if I want to have that thing running for more than an hour. But everything is in there. All i got left to do is take the gems out of here because uh, they've been ending up in there, and I don't know why they're going through it. I think it's because i got so much going through. Realistically, I should have both lines separated. Okay, that, that wasn't all of them. Hang on. I'm trying to get all the gems out of there because they don't actually melt. At least the uncut ones don't. So then I want to try. Say the hell with it. Just leave them there. <laughs> See if there's any more in there. I don't think there is. Nope. Oh, okay. So, uh, let's actually see if we've got any iron. We'll check the iron first. Uh, nothing. Okay. I'm not too worried about that little bit there. Anyway, uh, let's see what we have, shall we? Okay. For the iron, this is 45 minutes. Better not be like 200 bucks. 36,000. That's actually not too bad. Uh, I was hoping for a little more, but... We'll see how it goes. Uh, I did have a bit of an issue with two of them, and I think it's just because the harvesters probably broke down, but I did get a jam up. Uh, good thing is though, it's all the small clumps, and it's just this one and that one. Uh, this side was okay, but I was favoring this side a little bit more. Uh, harvesters were working though. But anyways, let's see what we have for gold. Now, I, <laughs> I realize I'm not hitting a million on this episode. Uh, lag, but at least we don't have dirt problems, like we always do. Alright, what do we got here? Wow, that's better than the last one. 183,000. Cool. Uh, that was use. That was nothing there. I think it was, uh, yeah, 250. Cool. Uh, let me throw a ring together and let me see what we got for iron. 400 and 200. Alright, we got an iron and a dagger and I'll meet you at the stock market. I'm sorry, a ring and a dagger. Okay, here we are. I only had to sleep once, so that is good. Uh, only got 52 and 53, but let's see what we... Oh, 15 on the dagger. Uh, well, let's see what the dagger is. It's actually pretty good. 46, I think we'll take that one. Uh, rings are up, so... Let's find out. Is it going to be over 300? Just shy. That's pretty good. 250,000 for a ring in 45 minutes. Not bad. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take that, and now I have over 600 grand. Cool. So what I'm gonna do is between uh, now and the next episode, I'm gonna go and uh, do some cleanup around there, clean up all those nuggets from the other, other system. I know there's a lot there, I'm not gonna worry about it really I'm just gonna put it all in the crucible and melt it and if it's iron or if it's iron if it's gold it's gold whatever it's free money but at least it's gonna reduce the lag and then uh, for the next episode I'm gonna get that thing up and running and so I know I'm doing quarter million in 45 minutes so I'll take like 300,000 but I want a quarter uh, million in gold so realistically I'll run it for three hours Considering how well it's actually running, I don't think it'll be a problem. Anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.
Later. Ooh. Steve needs better brakes. And a better driver. <laughs>